Hi, this is Jeremy Morris with Freedom Church. It's November 19th, 2020. I'd like to share a message with you today about letting your tears become seeds of joy. We all go through pain and we all go through suffering. It's part of life and most of us don't like it. But if we will allow it in our life, good will come from it. Here's a scripture to show you. It says in Psalm 126, verse 5, Those that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And so, when we let the tears come out, we let our feelings come out. The Bible says we may be crying now, but joy will come in the morning. Better days will come. And so, as we go through the pain in life, we want to grow through the pain. And God uses the negative things in our life to make us stronger, to make us better, and to draw closer to Him. The shortest scripture in the Bible is in John eleven thirty five. 35. It says, Jesus wept. Why is that in there? I think we all need to know it's okay to cry. Many of us in society have been taught just the opposite. We've been taught that crying is a sign of weakness and that we shouldn't be immature babies. We, we are viewed that way sometimes when we cry, but crying doesn't make you immature. And oftentimes, just the opposite, it releases the pain. It releases the hurt so that you don't hold on to it. It says that David would cry before the Lord, King David. You can read this in the Psalms. But um, this thing about being weak and don't cry, gotta be tough. It sounds good in theory, but here's a scripture that's very interesting. It says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness so we don't have to pretend that we're tougher than we really are uh, you don't have to carry it all yourself you're supposed to cast your cares to the Lord let him carry the heavy things because when you rest God goes to work when we refuse to cry and we stuff our feelings down, that's actually a form of hardening your heart. You're, you're denying your feelings. You're not letting it out. You think you've got to be a tough person to prove something. But, you know, the scripture says in Hebrews 4, 7, Today, if you will hear God's voice, harden not your heart. See, a lot of people say, well, what, what is a hard heart? It's a heart that doesn't allow itself to feel. <laughs> denying your own feelings, denying your own humanness, um, denying your own weakness. Um, and the thing is, yes, it does say, let the weak say, I am strong. But you'll notice in the context, it says, I am strong in the Lord. So our strength is coming from uh, above. It's not just our human strength. But when we cry and we allow our feelings out, we release the pain and the sorrow and we get set free. And you know, in uh, Psalm 127 too, it says something interesting. It says, don't eat the bread of sorrow. That's interesting. We might have not thought of sorrow as being a form of food. Uh, but it says, don't eat the bread of sorrow. In other words, don't uh, rejoice in having a pity party. It says to release it. And then eat, instead of the bread of sorrow, eat the bread of life. And you probably know where this is going. Jesus said, I am 
the bread of life, and my words are life. See, God's words will never discourage you. God's words will never make you want to quit or give up. The, there's a difference. God doesn't tell us to quit. He doesn't say to give up, but he says to release the pain, release the dream to God. Don't give up on the dream, but release it to God. Let him bring the dream to come to pass. Let him bring the answer to all your problems. So releasing and quitting are two different things. We're not supposed to quit, but we are supposed to release and let go. Let go of the pain, let go of the sorrow, let go of the discouragement, let go of the negativity, and allow yourself to cry. You might say, well, I don't wanna cry in front of people. That's embarrassing. I didn't say cry in front of people. You can go get by yourself, get alone with God, and go ahead and cry before him and let out the pain. It's interesting because God is watching and he sees our tears. He sees our pain and he wants to help us. There was a guy in the Old Testament named Hezekiah and he got a message from the prophet that his days were up and it was time to die. It says that Hezekiah cried before the Lord. He said, God, I don't wanna die. And he cried. And then here's something interesting that happened. It says, the Lord said, I have seen your tears, Hezekiah, and I have decided to give you 15 more years added on to your life. Now that's pretty profound. Uh, what, got, what got God's attention was his tears, his tears. And so we don't need to hold back with God. We can let our feelings out. We can be real before him. We can let our frustrations out. Notice I said before God, not before other people. God didn't call us to dump all our problems on others. We bring it to him. And so this thing with tears, it's very interesting. And there's many, many scriptures to encourage us. Um, it says in Psalm 137, excuse me, Psalm 138, verse seven, though I walk in the midst of trouble, God will revive me. Notice the word revive. Sometimes we're going along fine and then a bunch of bad stuff happens and we feel really knocked down. And what does God say? Get back up, keep going. He's gonna revive you. And when we cry before the Lord, we're allowing ourselves to be a human being with feelings and not faking it till we make it. One of my favorite things in the Bible, at the end of the Bible, God says something I think that's really neat. He says, I will wipe away all your tears. God himself is going to wipe away all your tears. Take the pain off of you. Remove the hurt. Remove the disappointment. And remove the sorrow. God himself said he will wipe away your tears but notice in order for god to wipe away the tears you have to allow yourself we weren't meant to keep all that negative stuff inside anger pain frustration we need to let it go be set free and the lord said he'll set us free if you want this would you say a prayer with me right now just a short one you could repeat this with me Lord Jesus I invite you into my heart I receive you
as my Lord, my Savior, my Deliverer, my Healer, my Restorer. I let go of the pain. I let go of the anger. I let go of frustration. I let go of all negativity and all negative thinking. I ask you to restore to me your joy, your strength, your hope, and encouragement, and forgive all my mistakes. Starting right now, today's going to be a better day. Amen.